Hello, my name is Marsha Bell, and for the past 14 years I've been investigating English spelling. I'm the author of this book, Understanding English Spelling, and also the website, englishspellingproblems.co.uk. I've made this video to explain why English spelling needs improving, why we should think about this. The main disadvantage of English spelling is that it makes learning to read and write exceptionally difficult. Children learn much more slowly than in other alphabetic languages. And they also need much more help with learning to read and write than they do in other languages. And more young people never learn to read or write well before they leave school. And on top of that, more children and adults keep making spelling mistakes. Even teachers do. Most teachers regularly carry on making spelling mistakes. Literacy teaching is also much harder than it is in other languages, and teachers need much more training. They also have to do much more marking of spelling errors. So the, we have five main disadvantages, slower learning, greater need for one-to-one -one help, more illiteracy, more spelling mistakes, and harder teaching, and all these things come at a price. Schools have to pay much more for remedial teaching than they do in most other European countries, and teachers have to be sent on training courses, because nobody's yet come up with a teaching method that reliably teaches all children to read and write, government ministers keep coming up with new ideas for teaching, and so teachers have to keep being retrained. And of course, at a personal level, the pupils who struggle with reading and writing throughout their school years end up leaving with very poor job prospects. Their health tends to be worse as well, and their general well-being is worse too. And we as taxpayers pick up the bills for all that, and also for much higher payment in unemployment benefits. And the families of the unemployed need supporting as well. And we also have to maintain, maintain a bigger prison system and judiciary, because especially uneducated young men are more likely to turn to crime, and it's well known that the UK is the prison capital of Europe. We lock up more people than anyone else in Europe. So what exactly is wrong with English spelling? It has two different problems. It causes learning difficulties in two different ways. One is that identical sounds have different spellings, as here the oo sound of blue shoe and so forth. And the other problem is that identical letters can spell different sounds, like the letter, letter O in, on, only, once, and so forth. Um, these problems occur only, uh, the, the second problem rather, occurs only in English. I've not come across any other European language in which identical letters keep changing their sounds. Now, learning to read with letters that keep changing their sounds, as in shout, should, shoulder, and so on, is clearly very much harder than if the same, uh, the same letters keep spelling the same sound, as in out loud, and so forth. And it isn't as if it happens with just a few words. Uh, hundreds of words have letters that keep changing their sounds. And, uh, of course, learning to write and to spell with um, letters, uh, rather with sounds that keep needing different spellings, as we see here in the C, C, and Cs, and so forth, is also very much harder than if you can actually use the same letters for the same sound in the same position of a word. English has a perfectly good spelling system, and it has... 83 basic spelling patterns. Unfortunately, 72 of them have some exceptions. Now, some have only very few. I mean, for example, the a sound in a cat sat 
is spelt with a letter A pretty much all the time, only plat you have to put an extra I in for. But um, there are some that are disobeyed by hundreds of words, and worse still, a few of the rules are actually disobeyed by more words than obey them. And the very worst of these is consonant doubling. 379 words use the rule as it's meant to be, which is to show that the preceding vowel is short, as in common and merry, and not long as in omen or merely. Unfortunately, 377 words, which is nearly as many, actually don't bother doubling the consonant after a short vowel. We don't do it in comic, we don't do it in very. And worse still, an another 159 words use double letters, but, would, but they have nothing whatsoever to do with keeping a vowel short, or at least keeping a stressed vowel short. Because, for example, in commit, the stress is on the second syllable, it's nothing to do with the O. And also, in omit, we don't bother doubling the M, so which goes to show that actually this is quite unnecessary, in the same way arrive as a double R and arise doesn't. And we do funny doublings and endings of words too. I mean, f if doesn't need one, so why does sniff? Fuss, why does fuss? Uh, another f major kind of spelling difficulty, which takes up a lot of learning time too, is the E sound. Um, again, a very common English sound occurs in 454 common English words. 132 of them spell it with double E. But 322 do something else. They use either one of the three other main ways of spelling that sound, which is as we EA as in deal or the other pattern in decent and diesel. And then a few dozen do weirder things still, um, which are even less predictable, like key or people or season, so forth. So what learners end up with is that for spelling, there are at least 3,695 common English words that have some kind of irregularity, some qu kind of quirk in their spelling, which pupils, students have to memorize one by one. And for reading, there are around 2,000 words that have letters in them which don't have a totally predictable sound that can change their sounds. And they're all shown on my website. So if we wanted to make the situation better, the question obviously is, what would help pupils most with learning to read and what would help most with learning to write? which particular spellings should we change to get the greatest benefit? This is something I'm going to be explaining in more detail in another video. Um, for now, I think this is long enough and I really would like you to just think about it and perhaps check out my website and have a look at the words that cause all the problems. Bye for now.